Hi, I'm Tom Malini. I'm here today partnering with Figma to help teachers transition from Jamboard to FigJam. In this video, we'll address the difference between Jamboard's 20 frames and FigJam's infinite canvas. So in a Jamboard jam, you have your frames, you are capped at 20 and you can explore the frame, frame by frame. In FigJam, we have an infinite canvas. And what that means is that we can use the zoom here to you know, zoom in 100%. And then we can use the hand tool to navigate around and we can uh, reduce that. We can do all sorts of fun stuff there with the hand tool. We are able to navigate without moving, deleting, editing any content, which is really nice. Now to emulate frames in a Jamboard Jam, we have a couple strategies. The first one would be sections, which I'm using right here. So let me just add a new section from the toolbar. And there I can give it any name I want and I can change the color to any color at all on the World Wide Web. How cool is that? So if I want to really, yeah, there we go. So I can do that. The other thing I can do with sections that I love for unveiling content to students is I can hide. So you see here, I, you know, I have a section and then here, let's unveil this section. Boom, and I can unveil, which is really nice. The other thing about sections is that they organize content for you. So all the images and text that I've put in this section, when I grab the section to move it around, it moves with it. So it carries all of that. That is a nice way to section off different parts of your Fig Jam. That's why it's called sections. One other way to do this is, let's call this Fig Jam 1, the first Fig Jam I have students collaborating in. And let's say I want them doing a second activity. We'll call that Fig Jam 2. So in Fig Jam 2, I'll go and grab the share button. I'll grab that link and I'll copy it. Go back to my Fig Jam 1 and I'll say, all right, students, we all finished that. Now I want you collaborating in my second activity. So we'll right click and paste. And there that second Fig Jam now embeds. And when I click on the maximize button, I can now navigate this Fig Jam and zoom in and see what all is there and navigate that. I can also just open link and pop it out. And now as a student, I can edit this Fig Jam. So that's something I can do as well. So the infinite canvas in Fig Jam, really, really powerful. Use sections, use linked Fig Jams to separate out different activities. Before I go, let me shout out my partner, Figma. To get started with Fig Jam in your classroom, go to figma.com slash education. To try out the amazing Fig Jam education templates, go to figma.com slash at education. And if you want to try out Fig Jam right now, maybe play around with sections, type figjam.new into your browser. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the transition from Jamboard to Fig Jam.